special story from pole-bound Manipur, the land of famous women like Iram Sharmila, Mary Kom, Mirabai Chanu, the women who are at the forefront in Manipur in all fields. They outnumber men in the voters' list, but in a sharp contrast, only 17 women out of a total of 265 candidates have been nominated this time by various political parties, though in their election manifestos and campaigns, they highlight uh, the issue of empowerment of women and their key role in Manipuri society. VM Sunzu and Ratadeep Chaudhary report on these double standards for women in Manipur's politics and polity. As the pandemic eases, life almost back to usual at Imphal's iconic Ima Kethil or the Mother's Market, one of Asia's largest all-women market. Women are not just visible here in Manipur, they also outnumber men as voters, making up nearly 52% of the 20 lakh odd voters in the state. But women make up less than 7% of the total of the 265 contenders, fielded by parties. Poonam Rani Wangkhem, a former Congress leader contesting on an NCP ticket, explains why it's difficult for a woman to get a ticket. In our society, um, even though, you know, uh, fighting crime or, uh, uh, or any other issues, uh, small little, even small little issues of the family matters and things like that, women are always heading to fight all sorts of crimes in this society. When it comes to politics, when it comes to decision making, uh, our state uh, is predominantly a male-dominated state. The male don't want women who can be in the forefront, who are outspoken. The Congress promises to give 33% of all government jobs in Manipur to women and provide free transportation for them. The BJP is weighing young women with scooties to meritorious female college students. But these women students have the last words. This election, the mothers and daughters of Manipur would once again decide who will be the king. However, they are far from being the queens of state chauvinist politics. With BM Sanjoy Nimphal in Guwahati Ratnadeep Chaudhary for NDTV.